European nitrogen fertilizer. Where and how is it produced? Mineral fertilizers play a central role to achieve the yield and returns expected by farmers and required by a growing world population. But where does mineral fertilizer actually come from? Under which conditions is it produced? Is production sustainable? Let's take a look at European fertilizer production and how it relates to the environment, employment and quality. Yara operates 20 fertilizer plants throughout Europe and employs some 7,000 people. More than 10 million tons of fertilizer are produced annually. Most of our production plants are located close to the sea in order to facilitate transportation of raw materials and finished products. Let's have a closer look at one of these plants. It's located in Sluskil in the Netherlands. Yara Sluskil is a modern plant producing different types of nitrogen fertilizers. The plant, with its own port, covers 135 hectares and employs 600 people directly and approximately 3,500 people indirectly. It is composed of several areas dedicated to different production units ammonia, nitric acid, urea, UAN, and ammonium nitrate. Sluskil also benefits from a port allowing access to the sea. The four main production units are shown here again schematically. In a modern plant like Sluskil, ammonia, an important intermediate product in fertilizer production, is produced from air and natural gas. The natural gas comes in from the North Sea through a dedicated pipeline. In several production steps, nitrogen from the air is combined with hydrogen from natural gas to form ammonia. Let's now have a look at the different stages involved in the production of fertilizers. Among common types of fertilizers, urea requires just two production steps. The first one consists in upgrading air and natural gas to ammonia. And the second one combines ammonia with carbon dioxide to form urea. The urea solution is then granulated. The carbon dioxide present within the urea is only temporarily stored and released upon spreading. The production of ammonium nitrate requires an additional step compared to urea. First, ammonia is produced by upgrading air and natural gas. In a second step, ammonia is transformed into nitric acid. In a third step, nitric acid is combined with ammonia to form ammonium nitrate. The ammonium nitrate is then dried and granulated. The ammonium nitrate solution can also be combined with calcium magnesium carbonate, also called dolomite, to form CAN, and with calcium sulfate to add sulfur. To produce UAN, the urea solution is mixed with the ammonium nitrate solution. This type of fertilizer is only available in its liquid form. Fertilizer production is energy intensive and therefore produces greenhouse gases. These are mainly carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide. European fertilizer production has significantly improved energy efficiency. As a consequence, greenhouse gas emissions in the European Union are less than half of those observed in China, for example. And those from Yara Sluskil's plant are again significantly lower than the European average. Nitrous oxide is a very powerful greenhouse gas with a climate impact 296 times stronger than carbon dioxide. Yara has developed a catalyst technology which mitigates roughly 90% of nitrous oxide emissions and thus significantly reduces the carbon footprint of fertilizer production. This technology is now being used in all European Yara plants and is also shared with other fertilizer producers.
Yarra plants such as sluicekill also reduce environmental impact by other means. Carbon dioxide and excess heat from production are fed to greenhouses and stimulate crop growth in horticulture. Carbon dioxide is also transformed into dry ice for cooling and for other industrial applications. Heat from production generates electricity being used in-house. In some plants it is also fed to the public grid. Waste water from production is biologically cleansed and the biomass produced in the process benefits other industries. All Yara production plants work according to best available techniques and are certified according to latest international quality, environment, health and safety standards. Daily controls ensure constant mechanical and chemical product quality. Traceability of fertilizer origin is ensured at all times. Finished product is delivered to the distribution network by road, rail or water. An increasing part of the production is delivered in big bags, the rest as bulk. By carefully selecting means of transportation, Yara limits environmental impact and ensures highest product quality at the farm gate. Yara's fertilizer plants in Europe stand for Certified Quality and Safety Standards, Sustainable Production and Care for the Environment, Reliable Supply, Traceability of Fertilizer Origin, Local European Production and Employment. Learn more about plant nutrition and fertilizers on our YouTube channel.